Let's analyze what we think we know right now. The judge, Anna Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst with me in studio. And Judge, nice to see you. Morning, Bill. Uh, Giuliani's case, no payments ever made. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Giuliani's case, no indication of any crime. Is there? There doesn't appear to be the indication of any crime, but I think that's the wrong analysis. There is an indication of a fraud, and the significance of that is if the client and the lawyer discuss the commission of a crime or discuss the commission of a fraud, there is no attorney-client privilege in that conversation, meaning the tape can be used by anybody who can get their hands on it for any purposes. Which it's would the, include? Which would include Bob uh, Mueller? McDougal if she's suing the president, which would include Bob Mueller if he's investigating the president. Now, what's the fraud? The conversation is about paying uh, national, it's about paying National Enquirer to pay McDougal $150,000 to buy her story and to lead her to believe that the National Enquirer is going to publish her story. But the real uh, aim here is to bury the story by duping her into selling it to them and then not publishing it. That failure to be truthful to her and the involvement of Donald Trump and Michael Cohen in that decision is the fraud. You say that's not a criminal fraud. It's a civil fraud. That's a fraud. civil fraud. And but what is the difference? Criminal fraud is where you dupe somebody out of cash to enrich yourself. Civil fraud is when you dupe somebody out of cash for some other purpose. The other purpose here was to keep the story from being put in the press by lying to her and telling her, we'll pay $150,000, you don't talk to anybody else, and we'll publish your story when they never intended to Based publish it. Based on that analysis, criminal is more severe than civil. Absolutely. Is it not? Yes, of course it is. But both civil fraud, criminal fraud, are enough to burst the attorney-client privilege. That's where the Giuliani argument fails and the Lanny Davis argument prevails. Two more questions. Rights were never bought to the story on behalf of the Trump team, correct? And the story was well, the never the story was never printed. Right. Does that give a fair explanation for what was happening here? As I understand it, and I could be wrong, the money went from some source, Michael Cohen, Donald Trump, to the newspaper, to Ms. Uh, McDougal. She believed she was selling her story to be published. Because they misled her, there was never an intention to publish it. That transaction was fraudulent. Were laws broken here? Campaign finance laws? That, was, was anything okay, here done that was I, illegal? That, that is an analysis for Mueller to make. If the purpose of this was to help the campaign, campaign finance laws were broken. But that, too, is not a crime. It's, it's a violation of a statute, but it's not a criminal statute. So does that statute. mean Giuliani's right in his defense so far? Giuliani is correct in that there is no uh, criminal violation. He is incorrect by uh, not addressing the fact that this is a fraud, because he knows that crimes and fraud both vitiate the attorney-client privilege. There are 12 audio tapes, I do believe, that apparently God, God Cohen only, gave to the feds. God only knows what else is in there. Now, Cohen didn't give anything to the feds. And they took the feds seized his office. It. Right, right. And I'll make this even more complex, Rudy waived the attorney-client privilege with respect to this tape because he believes that this tape helps the president. It helps the president in that there's no crime. It hurts the president in that there's an obvious fraud. Do you think the president has something to worry about here? Yes. Do you? you do? Yes, I do. Based on? If there's no attorney-client privilege, then all his communications about these subject matters with Michael Cohen go right to Bob Mueller and to do with whatever he's going to do with it. Thank you, Judge. We'll You're see where it goes Bill. next. My regards to you and the passing of your 92-year-old oh, hero, your father, thank Andy you, Bill. Napolitano, this Thank week. you. And thank you for coming yesterday. Thank Good you. Good to be with you and your family. Thank you, Bill. Thank you.